Bosto comes back with two, and now it's left all onto Boaster. A one versus four, he's within his own Viper's pit. He's trying to spot where these remaining players are. You can see the spam. He'll take the first, though. Chronicle already gone, and he might have just masked the sound by being able to drop down. He's going to hear all of their own footsteps, and it's just spamming within the smoke. Oh! He brings it down to one, and Boaster! It's in a very wide position. Boaster has an operator. Boaster has an operator in the showers. I'm going to boot bot missed him. It's a free shot and a free kill. What a play. What an absurd play to make. Here's Melzer though, pushing into market. Me. And Boaster's pushing getting forwards. Boaster locks it down. Here comes another push though. Melzer, another threat that Fnatic have to deal with. Enzo watches for it. And, and Enzo and Boaster feel like they've won Fnatic this OT round. Oh. I mean, Boaster's just got the Midas touch right now. You want a different look at a fanatic on our attack rounds? You got it, Boast against <laughs>
One away from a showstopper now has it active. Yeah. This could get a little bit dangerous. There's a showstopper already. It's going through. It's not found anyone. Rolling Thunder. To put him in an awkward spot, but the blast pack stops them from pushing. Now the time becomes an issue. Already halfway to fuse, no. but he's got the kill and aid through now. And this is tough because I don't think he can stick it. Russ has got to deal with him and he can. What? But yeah, he's gotten it done. The ground and did nothing. He's uh, he's almost got his. It's almost got a show. He's going to have a showstopper one way or another. And it goes the way we expect with 17 HP. But it is now <laughs> it's a rocket launcher online for the next round. That's insane. I feel like they're almost trolling him with that smoke. I think that was supposed to be a one way. But uh, Zeddy's had a bit of a tough time. <laughs> I, well, to be honest, at this point, I don't think it matters. And you're locked in at the back. SSK sat there with an operator. You've got three players on site. Okay, you got an orb. That's nice. It's something to play with going into the next round. And uh, as you said, with the kill on the cloud, Leo is going to get it one way or another. What is that shot? No, this man has been known for clutches, but this would be absurd. He isolates the jewel onto Dino as well. This has gone from a 1v5 to a 1 versus 1 for Leo. He doesn't know where the last man is. In fact, he's wrapping round back through that defender's spawn, checking that flank, hoping to try and spot out SSK, who still has himself that operator in hand. Leo, it seems like he's made the read, just watching back. The thing is, with the plant in play, there's so many angles still to check, but it seems to be watching the right one, although he's looked away at the moment. He snaps back and clutches it! Leo! Oh. Oh. Okay. And now Leo... Well, that's a shot. What? Leo! But he still has to get the last... And Angel knows exactly where he Trying is. Trying to get the plant down, just hasn't worked out. Zeddy left in no man's land, and Leo's just sprayed oh, down no, too. He dropped the Viper's Pit as well. The trade back though, even stronger. Bringing things into a workable position, but again, the time is ticking. Plant still not down. One left. of the guild members on the deck, and irretrievable. And they forget that Leo's there. The memory of a goldfish, he's been around. This is dangerous, and you can see that they're very scared of that operator. And why wouldn't you be? Chronicle playing behind the smoke, and there's the opening. As they come around the corner, they're not oh, expecting him to still that? be aggressive. And he's going to get all five. Kyle, one HP. What, what you be? What you be? Yeah. I'll try to pick Yobo. What the fuck is this orb, bro? I know it's hard to do with this orb. Oh. Both, both, both B. Both should be.